Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we are talking about color grading D-Log M footage. So we're going to go through just a little bit of a strategy on how to make your kind of flat gray looking Mavic 2 footage look nice, as well as look at some quick ways to grade using our new LUTs from Ground Control Falcon 2. So here we have some ungraded footage from the Mavic 2. Big thanks to Simone Cabasino for sending this over for us to look at. And let's bring up our scopes. Look at what we got here. Start out with a D log M footage, just like any kind of log footage is generally a little bit desaturated. The shadows are lifted and the highlights aren't quite white. So really what we need to do to this image is a couple of things. We need to set the levels for the blacks. We need to set the levels for the whites adjust the midtones and the saturation. So let's start out just with our lift control. I'm gonna roll down on this wheel here, just slowly until the bottom of my scope just gets to about zero. That's probably a little bit too dark for this shot because back here in the trees, this isn't going to be exactly black. And you don't always stretch your colors out to be completely touching black and white unless there actually is black and white in the shot. But we're gonna start with that and see how it looks. Same thing for the gain. The brightest part of the image is right here on this fence, which we probably don't want 100% white. It looks like it's kind of a cream colored fence, but I will boost that just a little bit and see if we can get away with it. I think that's pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do is adjust the midtones, which lives in the gamma. I'm just gonna boost that up a little bit and see how that looks. Now we have pretty decent levels here. This is what we started with and this is where we're at now. I'm also gonna switch over to my vector scope and I'm gonna turn up my brightness of my vector scope. And it looks like we could do to saturate this just a little more. So I'm just gonna roll up my saturation a little bit. I don't wanna go insane, like this is too much. These greens are looking kind of neon, but I'm gonna say somewhere in there is probably where we wanna be. Just adds a little bit. I'll put my scopes back down here. That's looking okay for now. The other thing I'm gonna do is hit Alt S, make a new node, and I'm gonna add a little S curve to this. That's just going to kind of take away some of the muddiness here, make it look a little more pleasing. And you don't generally want to just willy-nilly add a curve. It will look probably nicer if you do that, but it won't look the very best an image can look. You want to keep an eye on your image and your scopes while you adjust this contrast curve because you don't want to blow things out like that. You want to keep it tasteful, you know? So maybe just a little bit in our highlights and then our shadows here. I think I'm gonna bring this up a little just so we keep some of this detail and maybe just add a little tweak at the bottom. Because really you're not just adjusting the contrast for the whole image, you're adjusting the contrast for each of the parts of the image. Now I feel like these highlights are maybe a little bright. So maybe we'll do something like this. And now we kind of have a subtle contrast curve for the shadows as well as the highlights. Let's take a look. Here's before and here's after. Just kind of gives it a little bit of flavor. And we always want to look at it in motion because for some reason things look different when they're moving. That looks pretty good. So as an overall correction, that's not a bad job. Let's see where we're at. Here's before and here's after. As long as we can see that we're not losing any detail, unless we want to on purpose, then we're doing pretty well. And then we can go through and adjust specific parts with secondaries if you want to. But that's kind of generally how I would approach color grading D log M. That's log footage from the new Mavic 2. I'm going to open up my clips and I'm going to right click and create a new version. We'll call this version 2. Sounds good. And I'm going to reset everything. So now, if I hit control N, I can switch in between the versions. So this is our custom grade. 
Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to grade it with a LUT. I'm going to open up my LUTs browser and I'm going to navigate to my Falcon 2 LUTs and I'm going to try out this DLogM to Rec 709 LUT. I'm just going to double click it. That's going to add it to my, to my first node. And this LUT is actually available for free. It comes with the Falcon package, but you don't have to buy the Falcon package to get this free LUT. Just click on free LUTs at groundcontrolcolor.com. And down here, free DLog M to Rec 709 LUT. That's the one you want. Download that and install it, and you'll be able to use it just like this. The idea behind this LUT is that it gets your image most of the way there for your color grade. It's not gonna be perfect every time just because the things in the world don't work like that. But with just a little bit of tweaking, I can get a really good result with this LUT without having to do as much work. What I am gonna do is add a serial node before this LUT. I'm gonna say Shift S. That's gonna add a node here. And I'm just going to kind of adjust this image before it hits the LUT so that it looks nice with the LUT. And I'm just gonna boost my lift up a little bit and I'll probably take the saturation down just a little. The other thing I might do is just boost my gamma a little bit, something like that. And let's take a look. This is before, and this is after. So here's our grade that we just did, which still looks pretty good. There's some nice detail in the shadows, but honestly, I kind of like the trees and everything a little better with the LUT on. So it doesn't give you the exact same result, but still a very nice grade, very clean and very fast with the LUT. The cool thing about using this LUT too is that if we adjust this to where we really like it with the LUT on it, we can switch this out for a stylistic LUT. I'll open up my LUT panel. This Falcon 2 LUT pack has a bunch of different looks that are designed for DLog M. And so if I just reset this node, I can mouse over and see these different looks that I can apply to my footage without having to tweak them a whole bunch. So I like something like this. And depending on the look, you might have to, might have to adjust some specific things, but for the most part, it ends up with a pretty nice grade. So you can quickly kind of dial in a specific feeling for whatever project you're working on. Again, those LUTs are available now. They're called Falcon 2, available at groundcontrolcolor.com. It has 15 different looks that are designed to make your Mavic 2 footage look awesome. And one thing I really like about Mavic 2 footage, if I hit Alt-S, I'm gonna add a new node here. And because of the quality of the, the codec, you can actually boost these shadows up a lot. Like it's actually pretty crazy how much you can boost things and still have it look pretty good. So it can kind of give like a surreal looking color grade. It's especially true if you draw a soft mask around the shadows, you can get some really nice detail in those shadows. And honestly, it comes through pretty darn clean for how much information you're boosting up there. So here's without that adjustment and here's with it. And of course, track it with the Resolve Magic Tracker and things just get ridiculous. So there we go. There's our finished shot and some strategies on how to grade uh, D-Log M footage from the Mavic 2. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more uh, post-production color grading DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you on the flip side. Wha-bam!